Cincinnati is moving forward with new rules to cut down on dog attacks. Instead of singling out pit bulls, though, council will decide whether to subject all dog owners to more scrutiny. WLWT News Science Andrew Setters has the story tonight. The city's gone down the road before of trying to tackle the problem of vicious dogs. One thing they won't be doing this time around is zeroing in on a specific breed. The Cranley Collar and any breed specific legislation of any kind is absolutely not the answer. One idea shot down by council, the idea floated by Mayor John Cranley, forcing pit bulls to be identified by a city issued yellow collar. Pit bull owners and supporters were vocal before council today. We don't need to be able to identify pit bulls. That's not the problem. The problem is identifying dangerous dogs who pose public safety threats to us and our neighbors and our children. Council's Law and Public Safety Committee decided to cast a wider net. If a dog, any dog, is labeled dangerous or vicious, the animal would be sterilized and registered. The owner would have to go through training and be insured. Instead of cracking down with stronger criminal penalties, council will focus instead on fines, including a leash law. Keep your dog on a leash or in your yard. If not, you can be slapped with a $50 fine. It goes up for repeat offenses. It's all meant to cut down on bad dog owners and bad dogs without picking on any one breed. So one of the things by enhancing the civil penalties, we can, we can hit them in the pocketbook where it will actually hurt. One thing Councilman Kevin Flynn asked for was stronger legislation from the state of Ohio to go after people who train dogs to attack. He said right now there is no felony on the books and maybe there needs to be. From City Hall, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5. All right, so with the support of the Law and Public Safety Committee, the new ordinance will go before the full council next, and that could happen as early as this week.